Is this going to be the longest Animal Crossing video yet? Now that I don't actually know at this point, but what I do know is we've got a lot done and a lot to show, so let's not waste any more time on this intro. Day 1. A normal harvest day isn't really normally worth talking about, but I wanted to capture it this time. Why? Because these normal harvest days, or at least, you know, as they look now, are going to go away. I'm building new farms, and once they're done, I'll be removing all these plants, so I wanted to record it while these were still here. Day 2. Firstly, let's change our look, shall we? I buy a suit jacket to make myself look a little more dapper, and then we continue our work on the upper area, moving the shop up there and planting some flowers so that it looks good. Day 3. Now the three buildings I wanted up here are now here, but there's some massive gaps between them. And I'm thinking some gardens should go there, starting with the hedgerows. Day 4. The first garden is, well, almost completely built with hedges, so we put down the fountain and build the paths around it. Day 5. The garden is built, so it's time to fill it with flowers and trees, make it look really beautiful. I mean, it's a garden, that's the point of it. Day 6. You know how I built this whole like upper area? Yeah, I never actually finished the staircases to get up there and you still need to use a ladder to go up and down. Let's get that fixed now, shall we? One garden's built, but one garden was of course not going to be enough for us. So today we start work on the second one. Day 8. Oh yeah, I built the other staircase. I forgot to mention that, didn't I? The inclines are now complete. And also, so is the second garden. Day 9. Construction must continue and part of construction is demolishing unnecessary bridges and also moving houses that are going to get in the way. Day 10. There's another house in the way so it's time to get that gone. And also time to start building the new water areas. Well, basically what I'm doing now is starting construction in the next area, the farms, but that's going to take a little while. Day 11. More construction is done and well, basically we've finished off the eastern side of this, which is where one of the farms will be. Everything's connected, the water's exactly where it should be, so technically that kind of puts us at the halfway point. Day 12. I did a little more work on the water today, but we still have a couple of bridges in the way, so we've got to wait on demolition before we can do anything. Day 13. Did a little more work on the water today, realised there was still one more house in the way. <sighs> well, better get that moved. Day 14. Nope, I lied. Now we're getting rid of the last house that's in the way. Also, the paths to the new area have now been made. It's a little thing, but it's important. Also, bridge, bridge, bridge. We've decided to build two bridges the same way we have two inclines, and the construction of the first begins today. Day 15. First bridge is done. Let's get the second one going. It feels good to have this done, and also means I haven't got to keep bloody vaulting like I have been. Day 16. Started building the fences for the first farm. Huh, got to clear everything out and build a lot of fences, but hey, it's the start. Day 17. Oh yeah, today's bunny day? Okay, okay, quick break from the building project for some buntastic fun. Yes, I am ashamed of that joke. Day 18. Today marks the complete clearing of the land that will be used for the western farm, as well as getting most of the fencing done. Day 19. The rest of the fencing here is done. I used what little I had left to start the eastern farm. And we also planted a little pumpkin patch. This will be the first little bit of growing we're doing up here. Day 20. Today is when I started by planting all the fruits I kept back, beginning the tree patch in the western farm as well. Day 23. It's harvest day. Well, not for the trees yet, but it is for the pumpkin. And we use what we picked to extend the patch further down. So it's really no longer a patch, isn't that my farm? Day 25. It's the solar harvest day. Well, the trees are grown and there's a few pumpkins, but more importantly, we've now got enough of these to plant the rest. So all the planting in the western farm is done. Day 30. And now it's harvest day. All the pumpkin plants are grown, all the trees, and it's beautiful. And more importantly, it's also very profitable. And this is just with one of the two farms done. Yeah, when we're finished here, we're never going to have to worry about money again. And that was the month. And yeah, I think this is the longest one we've done so far. I'm definitely not complaining though. 
We've made huge progress this month. We've finished the upper area entirely, including moving the shop and two gardens. We did all the work needed on the rivers, built the western farm, started building the eastern farm. I mean, wow. Like next month, I guess it's eastern farm? And then the housing district, which I didn't see starting for ages, but here we are. I'll see you then.